All right, so we're doing just a little quick little reaction video today on Sons of the Forest exclusive hands-on preview review by IGN. So I've been going around looking at Sons of the Forest a lot because I am pumped personally. You know, the forest is good. I do want to make another series on the forest, just one more series, and I want it to be my own exclusive no copy whatever else from other creators i want it to be my own experience i know so much about the game that it's hard to stay interested in it but at the same time i'll find a way to be interested in the game but regardless you know that's something for later right now we're just going to look at this review and see what's up with sons of the forest so let's get get right into it okay everything works oh there's a crossbow Unlike some of its peers, The Forest, the survival horror game from Canadian-based studio N Night Games, is on not just the popular Gather and Craft survival game. I'm going to try, this is the first pause, I'm going to try and not pause and talk too much as the video is playing. I don't want the video to be super long, so this this is the pause just to let you know that it'll be mostly playing for the most part. Format, but also added a surprisingly complex try and pause and, and talk as little as possible. Featuring cannibals and mutants. Mm -hmm. With the immediate arrival of its long awaited sequel, Sons of the Forest, comes not only the pressure to top the beloved experience of the original, but also to add some new and increasingly. Oh, I see a pistol. Wild surprises. And based on the. Oh, I'm trying to pause hours, it for the mutant. What is that? What is that? so far i'm not only excited oh my god I'm, i don't want to face that but also confident that end night could revolutionize the survival genre okay. probably not i'm gonna keep my hands off because if i have my hands on the keyboard i'm gonna pause begins it begins with a simple premise you've mm -hmm. crash landed on a mysterious peninsula and begin your quest to survive at all costs mm -hmm. there was also the optional objective of finding your kidnapped son a task that would take you down a wild and disturbing narrative rabbit hole populated by flesh-hungry mutants. Mm -hmm. Sons of the Forest largely shares the same setup, substituting your son for a missing billionaire. It's a basic idea, but one that allows you to jump straight into the action, okay. allowing players who have no oh, what is that? Of the rescue mission to solely you flip backwards over the very own lakeside the fence. resort Ooh, that looks good. right away. Just mm -hmm. like its predecessor, you can play, build, and cause chaos with seven of your friends in co-op. But you can okay. still see everything Sons of the Forest has to offer in single player. The Cable big difference really good. this time though, is that even when you play solo, you're not alone. Enter Calvin. Oh. At the very start of Sons of the Forest, you're introduced to Calvin, an elite soldier who not only survived the helicopter crash that stranded you on the island, but is also very much along for the survival ride as an AI companion. While Calvin has suffered some major head trauma that's left him unable to speak, his injuries have not, perhaps surprisingly. We will be having white kick. Hopefully some of y'all get that reference. Him from being I'm gonna be making a lot of those jokes in, in this game with Calvin. Experience for solo players, Calvin will follow you around mm -hmm. and respond to commands issued via oh. a bunch of handy quick select options. On that looks dope as hell. Get logs and give to me. A notepad. He'll take orders to see out okay. your less than desirable busy work, such as chopping down trees and gathering logs. Wow. Oh, thanks, man. During he's just running away. The value of having an AI companion was immensely noticeable. Mm -hmm. There was a huge benefit to sending Calvin off to find resources. Yeah. While my co-op partner and I focused on designing our structure, I'd okay. really turn around to find a fresh pile of logs for our disposal. With Calvin, Bro, that's gonna be that's gonna be so good. I still do hope that they have like the the sleds, and you can like Calvin can put the logs in the sleds to go off and make you know, gather more and then bring the whole sled back. Merry way That'd be even more. dope. Not only will Calvin somewhat provide company for solo players, but he offers helpful, time-saving resources even when in a group, putting okay. a significant dent in the busy work of a survival game. That looks good this right there too. more time to either sculpt a masterpiece or plow forward on the cannibal killing quest. But watch Calvin out for Calvin. Oh of his own though. Okay. Well, at least to some degree. He sits down to rest when he gets tired and seeks water when he's thirsty. Okay, that, that's fair, yeah. If you treat him poorly, which oh. Makes him less productive and thus decreases the value as a companion. That's and fair. If you decide you're not interested in having a worker be along for the ride, you have the option to disable Calvin in the most realistic way possible. Shoot him in the head and you'll remove him from your session. Pump. Wow. You're limited to one Calvin per that is rude. session, so the okay. dream of a legion of Calvins can't be fulfilled. But the developers assured me that there are other companions you can find as you progress, each oh, cool. with their own unique AI. 
During oh. my playtime, I caught a glimpse of Virginia, a mutant with three arms and three legs. She quickly scarpered once I approached her and definitely had more of a skittish sensibility than Calvin. But the developers told me that she can eventually be recruited and will become oh. attached to you over time should you be kind to her. That is, yeah, that's true, yeah. To that of an elusive and independent cat, which stands in opposition to Calvin's lovable and a... Oh, nice head explosion. These improvements aren't limited to just okay. companions, though. On our expedition, we came across several groups of enemies, ranging yeah. from a cluster of cannibals to a mob of monstrosities, each demonstrating Mutants, their own yeah. impressive decision-making abilities. It okay. felt like my enemies were thinking and making active decisions based on not only my actions, but also their situations and environment. Oh, hell yeah. Particularly in first-person horror games, enemies generally have two modes of behavior, patrol and attack. But in mm -hmm. Sons of the Forest, some foes would just... That's what it kind of was like in the forest, but the AI was so good. Like, do, While others would charge in aggressively, only to back down when things didn't go their way. I mm -hmm. saw enemies consoling their fallen friends, changing their clothes depending on the weather conditions, and even oh. trying to destroy my newly erected home when my back was turned. That is it so good. to see that the enemy's brains were not only following coded rules, but also adapting their thoughts based on the external influences. Why the would you do that, explained sir? to me that certain enemies with leadership qualities can influence the decisions of others, and even okay. promote ideas in their ranks, such as religion, and that each individual has their own tastes, a desires, pistol, and proclivities. Oh, watch out for that guy, Jesus. From my small taste of Sons of the Forest, I didn't really get a sense of how deep this system is and how much it'll affect your experience. But the teasers I saw filled my mind with dozens of possibilities. Mm -hmm. I saw enemies adapting to change in their ecosystem and weather conditions, which now cycle through seasons that change as you progress. I Ooh. even accidentally triggered a war after I stupidly opened the entrance to the game's complex underground cave network and released a faction of mutants into the domain of another tribe. My That's what you want to do. Cause their living space to change mm -hmm. and encouraging them to adjust their focus. And oh. after that little taste of chaos, I can't wait to see how flexible this system can be. Same. As you'd expect, the titular forest makes a return and it looks better than ever. From the complex density of foliage to the gorgeous rainfall and beautifully lit cave stalactites amongst the hanging corpses and mutant fetuses, the graphical power on show here rivals the majority of AAA releases. It was a joy to explore without even the slightest hint of repetition. That's going to be a good, design. useful With thing to do right bunkers, there. Villages and God knows what else in a world that's promised to be four times larger than the original. I can see myself getting lost and then sidetracked in blueberries the for hours on end. But at its core, God. Sons of the Forest is a survival game game and so when you're not exploring there's a good chance you're building the construction yeah. tools have been significantly overhauled for the sequel gone are the floating blue ghost building blocks replaced by user-friendly realistic presentation of wilderness carpentry Instructions okay, cool. are more literal and actions are contextual. Instead of just loading resources into a ghost version of the final product, you're now free to, with magnetic and snapping assistance, manually place logs and sticks in the direction that you'd like, allowing for a complete customization of your structure instead of okay. following a predetermined design. Mm -hmm. My partner, Calvin, and I immediately set to work on building a lakeside domicile of our own. And what began as a traditional design immediately blossomed when we realized the only limitation was our imagination. You're working on every placement by hand and thus the structural points present not only a decision but an opportunity for expression. I was informed that the option of the more traditional blueprint builds is still there for the purists but I found the mm -hmm. DIY construction far more appealing than the IQ Look at approach. That. Yeah. Then of course there's the optional story to follow. From the teases in the trailers, this is implied to be bigger and perhaps even crazier than the original, and hopefully continues directly on from the forest's cliffhanger. But amongst the time spent constructing and fighting off hordes of cannibals, I didn't really get a sense of how the story was going to go beyond the initial premise. It did feel very familiar to the story of the forest though, which I guess makes sense in the term of dropping players right into the action. But oh. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns that it could potentially retread old ground. My hope is this simply serves as a jumping off point to go in some truly crazy directions, and it develops a narrative through line for the first game that still feels cohesive. But time will tell once I get my hands on the full game and manage to pull myself away from building a replica of the Ewok oh, village yeah, he actually and built the it. lives of the unsuspecting locals. Yeah. Sons of the Forest appears to evolve and oh, build on every aspect Don't of kill it. Processor with a focused goal of realism and developing uh, a flexible ecosystem. And it feels like okay. the building blocks are there to create something truly special. But its killer feature is the addition of impressively sophisticated and smarter AI enemies and companions that could not only provide a huge leap forward for the series, but the survival game genre as a whole. Oh no. 
Do the guy on the ground. And okay. if you like that video and want to find out more about Sons of the Forest, why not check out everything that we know so far? And for everything else Sons of the Forest, stick mm -hmm. with IGN. Damn. All right, let's go back and just look at some of this stuff. First of all, I am glad that they have the option to do blueprint or not. That's good. All right. Blueprint or not. I also like the introduction of just a, a random AI character. Hopefully he's really good at uh, being an AI. They also said that you could also... You could also have... You could recruit more people, right? So I'm wondering if you could like... Make it just a small little town of just AI people that'll help you and defend. You know how Conan has those like thralls and you can recruit them to defend your stuff and whatever else. Uh, I'm hoping that they're going to be kind of like that, but more alive. So like they'll actually do stuff around the house while you're there or while you're gone. You'll come home and you'll just see them picking up some sticks and cleaning some stuff. You know, there'll, just, there'll be a battle and uh, you come home to just the aftermath of that battle and you'll see them just repairing the house like they'll just go get whatever they have to go get to repair the house they'll come home and you'll see them fixing it up you know it, it'd be it would be it would be just it's just so good if that's going to be in my mind how it's going to hopefully work out I'm, like i said i'm bad at explaining stuff but if that's the case and you have ai that actually do stuff and help you that's going to be so good now of course there's going to there's be playthroughs where you don't play with the ai of course, just to see how challenging it really is. But I think for the survival or the building aspect of the game, it is best to have an AI. So you're not just constantly wasting, not wasting, but like putting in your own time to the building. Because I am not a building person. You know, I'll make just a little shack and that's like, that's my home. This little shack, it covers enough that I need to cover and it's, it's good. You know, I put my campfire here i got my bed right here i got some storage over here that's it but of course if you're more of a building person you're going to want to have people to help you it's going to be very interesting to see for sure especially when you can just place it on the ground right it'll be so good uh this is interesting as well i like this the fact that the ai also has its own attitude is going to be so good mad vlad right but i watch like i watch his four stuff and I also watch uh, the Mist stuff, and <laughs> he has he has specific characters that he likes to engage with and not to engage with. So I think that being able to, hit, I think that his personality is going to come out for sure with these AIs. It's going to be so good. I can't wait for that either. That's just that's just a me thing, you know. <laughs> that's my own thing. The weather, instead of just having something in just like one specific area like snow up in the mountains, obviously, which will probably most likely happen. They'll just have snow up in the mountains, but, and, uh, but for the weather to change and then the mutants to change, or not the mutants, the cannibals, maybe the mutants, I don't know, but the cannibals for sure to change their wardrobe and stuff to dress for the weather to come and attack you, it's, it's going to be good as well. Because if you lived in the snow in the forest nothing happened like you're just surrounded by nothing maybe just animals but that's it so it was a challenge but it wasn't because as soon as you got the warm suit it was it was like whatever it was easy right i never did a a, a for i mean a a snow challenge in the forest because it's just it's stupid i don't like it nothing happens out there uh you're limited to building so like i said i'd only build like a shack and then that'd be it Sticks is gonna be a pain in the butt. You have to go. You have to go out of your way to go get sticks to come back and then run out within a few seconds. So that was not my thing. It also looks like in this image here that the torch is gonna to be more useful than the flashlight. Now in Sons of the in in the forest, you would use the torch to light up the area around you, and you'd use the flashlight to light up the area in front of you. And they, it looks like that's what's going on right here as well. That may be a little too slow, but anyway. He hits him, right? He hits him. He goes into the sticks, hits him again, right? Nothing happens there. Hits him another time, and then boom, just right back, right flip back over the fence. Look at that. That's good. Like, that is acknowledging that there is something there that's preventing him from going backwards, and then him getting hit backwards over that. Oh, so good. This is nice, too. I like that. Just a bunch of leaves for you to collect. And then this here, the visual 
presentation of taking down this tree is also really good. This is like the forest. I never ever thought that the forest would be a game that I played because I, I was not a fan of horror kind of games. I don't like horror kind of games. It's just not for me. It's just not my thing. Okay. It's just, anyway, <laughs> it takes too long for me to progress through the horror stuff. Um, but yeah, but this game was, is not as, or the forest wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. It's just more of the cave thing. It's like, I don't want to fucking go in the cave. Like what the hell, <laughs> you know, but not knowing what's in there, but yeah, so good. I can't wait to see this game come out. And of course I'm going to be playing it. I already booked the week off, not the day, not the day that the week that, not the week that the forest this game comes out not the week that the sons of the forest comes out but the week after so i think four days i'll cover it here and there and then that entire week we just go nuts it's gonna be so good oh it's gonna be so good i'm super excited of course tutorials i'm gonna try and make them the same way that i just recently did in the forest but hopefully better and improve on that because people seem to like the way that i did those so so much good stuff coming out. So much. I'm, I'm super pumped. I'm super excited. I really hope this game does well. And it looks like that this game is going to do well. It, and I hope the effigies will actually mean something in this game. Because in the, in the forest, they didn't do anything. It was just there for decor pretty much. But it looks like just by this thumbnail, it looks like it actually might do something. So, yeah. All right. So, thank you for watching. Okay. Pumped. Super excited. Can't wait. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.